got a little upgrade here today so here is the components i am using in this upgrade today so oh and there's the cat having her dinner and uh, there's me powering on the pc so i'm going to show you the uh, current spec of the pc so there's eight gigabytes of ram and a 512 ssd that is what i'll be upgrading so removing the cover having a look at the insides and uh, just blowing off a lot of the dust um, that's built up over time removing the uh, cooler and heat sink and when I removed this, the uh, CPU was actually stuck to the bottom of that. It actually pulled it out and bent a few pins. So I had to use a flathead screwdriver and be very careful and bend the pins back to what they should have been. Put the uh, CPU back into the computer just so I could easily clean it with uh, isopropanol and uh, get it ready for putting some fresh thermal paste on there. Uh, next up, removing the uh, SSD, NVMe SSD. This is 512 gigabytes stick. And there's a little spacer. I'm just putting on the new one. And next up, I'll be putting that new two terabyte SSD into the computer. So that's going to provide plenty of storage for games, programs, everything. And then I'm also applying a heatsink on there thanks to uh, my friend for supplying that. Next up, I am upgrading the uh, the eight gigabytes of RAM. So I'm just gonna put two of the same sticks in here, bring it up to 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And that should be good for most games. Like it's not gonna be used for the, the latest running games, I believe it's gonna be used for like maybe The Sims or Minecraft. So. Just popped on the uh, cooler there again, just making sure it's fixed in place. And just put the uh, connector back in and give it one final blow. Just clearing away the dust, putting on the uh, cover there. And that's pretty much it. Now, all I have to do is install a fresh copy of Windows 11, which you'll see me do next. So there's the PC there, all sorted. Power it back on. And then I just have to, there's there's some settings here you can see what I've changed. Popping in the USB flash drive with the Windows 11 on it. And just running through the uh, install quickly. And there you go. One upgrade done and dusted. And I will show you the, uh, the after specs of uh, the upgrade there. So it's now showing 16 gigabytes of RAM. And there's a two terabyte SSD. So thank you for watching and please subscribe.